Hey team, Matt Sarber again. We're gonna talk about US military customs and courtesies, do a quick class on uh, hand salute and all that good stuff. All right, so we're gonna identify a military rank, uh, saluting at appropriate times, responding to the passing of the colors, national anthem, uh, and military music. All right, military rank. Uh, so we have the enlisted ranks, uh, E1 to E9, e, the E is, stands for enlisted and, and then it's also a pay grade, right? So the ranks are actually down here. Uh, and then the officer ranks, O1 to O10, uh, again, those are pay grades, ranks are down here. And then we have the warrant officers, W1 to W5, ranks down here at the bottom. All right, so... Uh, not going to insult your intelligence. We'll, pat, we'll have, have this handout and give it all to you. Uh, in our program, uh, the professor of military science is Lieutenant Colonel David Stocker, uh, which is here, 05. Um, and then we have our uh, battalion XO is Major Allen, an 04. And then we have Captain Tejeda, right here, an 03. We have two master sergeants, E8s, right here. And then we have one sergeant first class, right? Master, I'm Master Sergeant David Barrera, and then we have Master Sergeant Brian Jordan, and then Sergeant First Class Kirk, who will probably be leaving at the end of, uh, or mid, middle of our semester, right? So uh, you probably won't see him much. Um, yeah, so we'll move on. All right, saluting, saluting at appropriate times. So the, the origin of the hand salute from the ancient Roman times, uh, they used to salute uh, kind of like this, all right, at like 135 degree angle, palm facing down, fingers and thumb extended and joined. Uh, so we kind of, as time went along, uh, that, that changed. So it went from here to where the knights, uh, knights on their horses uh, used to have their visors, so they would put their visor up like this, uh, and they would actually show their fingers up, boom, show their palm, uh, and then uh, it's, it went to removing the hat, right? So they would have their, their hat on, and all they would do is go like this, uh, and, and that would be a salute uh, to, to then just uh, touching the hat. <clears throat> How and when to salute? Uh, so uh, we get this question uh, still still a, a lot. Uh, a lot of people don't know exactly when, how and when to do it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to explain the salute first and then uh, backtrack to when to do it. Right, so the hand salute... Uh, is done in different ways, all right? So the first thing is you want your hand uh, just like this, fingers and thumb extended and joined. Uh, if you are not wearing headgear, you're gonna place your uh, finger, your, your finger here at your eyebrow, right? So the edge of the right eyebrow, just like so. Your elbow is inclined slightly forward, so you're not gonna be just standing there like this. In inclined slightly forward, uh, you're gonna be at the position of attention uh, and then your hand is going to be inclined slightly forward so you can't see the back or uh, the palm of your hand from, from the front, all right, just like so. And if you're standing in place, all you, when you drop your salute, you're just going to come down, back down to the position of attention. Um, you can salute as, as you are walking, right? So if somebody, if there's an officer approaching uh, about six paces away, uh, you would render the salute and just keep walking uh, till they drop their salute and then you drop your salute. Uh, the next one would be if you are wearing headgear. So if you're wearing headgear with a visor, um, sometimes we wear headgear without a visor like your uh, 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 physical training uh, black fleece cap. Uh, if you don't have a visor, if you were wearing that, you salute the same as not wearing anything, right? So if you have a visor, you're going to place the fingers at the corner of the visor here, right? So just like so. Um, if you are wearing headgear, and excuse my glasses, 
Uh, these are the only glasses I can find because I don't wear any glasses. So if you wear glasses, um, if you're wearing headgear with a visor and glasses, you are going to the headgear. If you are not wearing any headgear or headgear without a visor on the glasses, you're going to uh, put it at the corner of the glasses where the temple piece of the frame uh, meets the right edge of the right brow. So right, right up here. Boom. And that is it. So three different ways that you can do it with headgear, with glasses, and then headgear without a visor. All right, so we talked about uh, doing the salute while walking. All right, again, six paces. Uh, same deal if you are walking and uh, the national colors are there, right? The U.S. flag. Uh, so if there's the U.S. flag as you're walking six paces from the flag, you're, you are saluting, all right? That doesn't mean like if there's a flag down the street that way and you're walking this way and you see the flag, that doesn't mean you're, you're saluting, all right? You, you know, if you're, if you're close within distance, like six, six paces-ish, uh, then you would do uh, your, your hand salute. Uh, you would uh, salute officers, even if you are already a commissioned officer, if you're a lieutenant, you will still salute officers of superior rank. Um, and then uh, on the flip side, soldiers will salute you uh, once you are an officer and you are required to return the salute. Um, when reporting, like if you're reporting to like a commander or something going, going into their office, uh, you would stand in, front, stand in front of the desk, three paces from the desk, stand at the position of attention, render a hand salute, greeting of the day, and then they would salute, they drop their salute, then you drop your salute. All right, so the colors, uh, we talked about as you're walking uh, and saluting the colors. Um, the other thing is if uh, you're in a ceremony and the colors are passing you, uh, you would stand up. So if it's, it's different if it's outside or inside, right? Uh, outdoors or indoors. Uh, if you're outdoors, you're, you're, you have a cover, uh, and as the colors are passing, you just render your hand salute um, as they pass. Uh, if you are indoors uh, in a ceremony and colors are passing, you are standing at the position of attention, and then you just kind of, wherever the colors go, you go. Once colors are posted or whatever the case may be, then you return back to your normal position. Uh, respond to national and military music uh, as we go along you'll figure out uh, what what songs uh, normally we just stand in the position of attention um, if we're doing ceremonies and the national anthem is played if we're indoors you would just stand in the position of attention and face the, the flag uh, if you're outdoors we would uh, it depends, right? So if you're in uniform, you're outdoors, uh, and the national anthem is played, uh, you would uh, stand at the position of attention, render a hand salute. Uh, if you are in civilian clothes, you would just stand at the position of attention, right? Position of attention, just like so. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you're indoors, again, all you're doing is standing at the position of attention, whether in uniform or out of uniform. Uh, so we talked about uh, identifying the military rank. Again, we'll push out that, that uh, one pager with all the ranks. Uh, we expect for you to know rank, so uh, we will be asking questions here and there, like, hey, what rank is this? Maybe just point to our rank, what rank is this? Uh, I might, I, normally I carry around note cards, and I'll just be like, what is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, saluting at appropriate times. Uh, again, you will, so we have officers here, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, 
a major and a captain. Uh, and then we have ACS students that help us out. Uh, and a lot of times they're, they're in uniform as well. So we expect that you all are uh, using the appropriate hand salutes at the appropriate times. Um, and, and we will, they know that uh, you probably don't know exactly when and how to do it uh, and we'll help you out, okay? Uh, responding to the passing of the colors and then responding to the national anthem and military music, all right? So if you have any questions over anything, uh, I'm not gonna give an assignment for this, uh, uh, kind of plain and simple, uh, and we'll just keep it at that. If you have any questions, let us know uh, and we'll help you out. Reach out.